So how do you lead when you're not actually a leader? How do you be the boss when you're not sitting in the boss's chair? Well, in this video, I'm gonna reveal four easy to follow tips that will put you on the throne, so to speak, and make you seem like a leader, have other people follow you as if you're a leader, and eventually lead you into a real leadership position. Hey everyone, my name's Dr. Benjamin Ritter. I am a leader, pretty much. I've been a leader internally, professionally within healthcare, and I've been acting as a leader in my own business for the past five-ish, almost six years now. And I've fully accepted that I am a leader. And I guide leaders who don't feel like they're leaders to fully embrace who they are, develop their personal brand, and develop the leader that's within them so that they can lead others around them. So if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like there's something you should be doing with work but you're not doing it, and you've achieved a certain level of professional success but don't feel successful, then we should talk. But for sure you should watch this video because the first thing that you need to do to lead when you're not a leader is to accept that you are a leader, to accept and fully embrace that you are going to step up, that people should follow you and should look up to you and that you know what you're doing, you know what you're talking about. And that level of confidence is critical. That level of acceptance is needed for other people to believe in you as well. Now, the second thing that you're going to need to do is know the goals and the vision of your department and your organization. This allows you to see things from much broader scope than other people. A lot of times people get caught up in the weeds, but leaders are able to step back and they understand how everything plays into the vision. So if you don't know the goals of your department, if you don't know the goals of your organization, you don't really know what you're working towards, what the short-term and long-term vision is, that's the first thing you need to identify before you can even have a chance to lead others. So make sure those are really understood. And if you don't know how to find those out, well, have a meeting with your leader and approach them with curiosity and questions and ask them, what are the goals? What are you working towards? What is most important right now? What are some sticking points? This information is gonna be really critical. The second thing you really need to focus on is engaging. I know this probably seems a little bit common sense, but you need to step up if you wanna step into a leadership role. That means if there's meetings, your voice is being heard. When someone says something, you're asking a follow-up question. When there's a project that needs to happen, you're raising your hand. You need to be active. People need to know about you. And not just engage within your department, but outside your department. So are you setting up one-to-one with people that are not within your work scope just to learn about what they do and to make connections? You need to be, you need to be known of as that leader. That's not a leader. And this is a way for you to solidify your brand. And if you do it in a way that takes into account the goals and vision of your organization and your department, then people are really going to start seeing you as someone that cares, someone that is bought in, and someone that is engaged and is willing to grow with the organization. This really just kind of lines up right with this next point, and that's you need to go the extra mile. So you are talking to people. You know the vision of the organization. You're asking questions. You are fully engaged. Well, things are going to come up that you see as opportunities things that could be worked on, but no one's working on. How can you do one thing that actually moves something forwards within the organization that other people can know about? So how are you doing one step more than other people? Now, I'm not saying you wanna overwork yourself. I'm not saying that you need to you know, disregard the boundaries you have about not working late at night or on the weekends and things like that. What I am saying is you're following up on what you're hearing, going one step further, and taking things one step further. This will set you up as a leader because leaders do this. People that are bought into the organization do this and people will notice if you do this. The last thing you need to do is become more personable. You're gonna hear things that people are saying as you're having these conversations, such as someone's having a, hot, a, a tough day, someone's feeling really busy, someone's really stressed. Now a leader hears that and doesn't brush it off. They pay attention to it. They use that information to build a relationship, to show that they care, to ensure that they can help somebody. So to lead and not be a leader also means that you are spending time that doesn't relate to work with your coworkers, with your peers. So are you the person that people think about to reach out to for assistance, for support? Do they feel like they have that relationship with you? Do they trust you? This requires that you, again, 
go a little step further, but now that not with work, but with people and show them that you care. This is the final piece as a leader. When people see you as someone that cares about their personal and professional growth. And by doing all these things, by being engaged, by knowing the vision, by taking action, going one step further, de-siloing outside of your department and being human, that will let you lead when you're not a leader. So everyone, if you've liked what you've heard, enjoyed what you've seen, if you feel a little bit more like a leader, if you're going to take some action, I want to hear about it. So put it in the comments, send me a message, but most importantly, everyone, other than subscribing to this channel, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. The most important thing, the reason why I do what I do, keep on living for yourself.